What's up everyone, back for another beer review and today I will be reviewing a beer from the Paperback Brewing Company and they are out of Glendale, California and this is their Nude Peach. So they are calling this one a Peaches and Cream Milkshake IPA and on the side of the can here it says contains lactose. It comes in at 6.5% alcohol by volume. No IBUs less than time of review. This can is just under six weeks old. I wanna give a huge thanks and shout out to a friend of mine and a fellow beer tuber, Ridge over at Ridgeopolis, AKA get a nose on a beer reviews for hooking me up with this one. Huge thanks to him. In the description box, I will not only post a link to his channel, which is pretty fantastic. If I had to, if I had to describe his channel in one word, it'd be chaotic, but a lot of fun as well. And, uh, in addition to that, I also post a link to the beer mail boxing video I did that contains all the goodies he sent my way. He sent me nine different beers. This is the first of the nine that I will be reviewing, and I'm pretty pumped up about this one. Now, I don't know anything about Paperback Brewing Company. I've never heard about them until this beer. Uh, so this one is a milkshake IPA. On their Instagram page, they say they are brewing this one with Sabro hops, peaches, and they say sweet vanilla cream, which is where the lactose comes in, and vanilla, hopefully. Uh, I do love the label of this one, obviously, the name Nude Peach, but they got <laughs> the peaches hanging out at the beach. It even says at the top where peaches go to get ripe, and then it says Nude Beach swimsuits optional. Yeah, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about this one. I've only had a couple uh, peaches, I won't say peaches and cream, but peach milkshake IPA before. I think I had two of them. I may have reviewed both of them. I don't remember, but uh, they're pretty interesting. I always I always have trouble picking up peach in a beer like this. So we'll see. I'm pretty pumped up about it. Let's crack it open, get it into the glass. Like I said, this beer is, oh, is it coming out a little bit just because of the roll? Yeah, so a little bit of a spillage here, which is fine. It happens. Could be a little bit more carbonated. Could be just because I rolled it real hard. Either way you look at it, it exploded out of the can. Cheat a little bit. That's nice. Just from that little cheat, it's nice. Go like this. So, into the glass. Wow. So I was thinking it's uh, have more like a milky, like uh, milkshake kind of look to it, but it just looks like a hazy. In in person, it's going to be different for sure on the camera. But in person, it's this vibrant orange color. Looks like sunshine. It looks fantastic. It's murky. It's turbid, but it's not. It doesn't have that like milky turkey gravy type of look to it. It's just like a bright uh, hazy kind of look to it. About a two and a half, three finger off white, really tightly compact bubbles in this head. Uh, but there's some bigger ones mixing around. It looks nice, though. Does that look like a milkshake IP to some extent? Does it look like a milkshake IP with peaches and cream in it? I guess. Let's get a nose. Okay, so I do get the peaches. Oh, man, that's cool. So the peach character here is like a nice, straight-up ripened peach. It's not overripened where it's too sweet, underripened where it's a little bit more tart. It has a perfect kind of ripe peach nose to it. Oh, it smells so authentic. Oh. It kind of smells like when you go into like bite a peach for the first time, like when you have a fresh one, it just has that inviting peach character to it. Like your old man's going to be juicy. It's going to be sweet. You're going to enjoy it. Wow. It smells awesome. I'm getting a touch of like vanilla. Could be mistake. Could be mistaken for lactose because a lot of those intertwine. A lot of times when there's lactose in a beer, especially IPAs, I get vanilla. And uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking here. But it did say sweet vanilla cream on the Instagram page. So who knows? Maybe there is actual vanilla in here. Underneath it, I'm getting nice citrus tones. I'm getting orange juice. I'm getting kind of the entire orange. I'm getting like just the flesh part, the pith, the peel, everything, a little zestiness. But man, that peach is so, like this is probably the most peach forward beer I've ever had, honestly. Uh, especially for like a hot forward beer, if you've had like a peach IP or peach milkshake IP or something like that. I've had peach before in sours that maybe are a little bit more bombastic, but for an actual IP, this is really peach heavy. Does it smell like peaches and cream? Not exactly. I would say it just smells more like peaches, a peach IPA. There's a little bit of like bitterness from the lactose. It almost has a slight creamy aspect, but peaches and cream, not exactly. But I don't really care because it smells awesome. So let's get into it. Cheers, everyone, and thanks again, Ridge. That's a really nice beer. And wow, does it have a nice... Has a really nice bittering aspect. I was not expecting that. I thought this was going to be a, a sweeter IPA or sweeter milkshake IPA. Man, that bitterness is really nice. So have fun. Let's go body. I'm trying to decipher what I want to say about the body exactly here. Six point five percent. I would say that this is uh, this is like lower side of medium body. So. 
I'd say appropriate. A lot of times, 6.5%, I'd like to see it almost approaching medium body. So it's kind of in that realm, maybe a touch thin. The mouthfeel, though, it is creamy. It does have carbonation, but that lactose, and they're probably using, you know, wheat notes and whatnot in here, flaked wheat and uh, flaked oats. It has a really nice, soft, smooth, kind of almost creamy sensation to it. The taste right front, what hits you, what hits me, maybe it hits you if you've had this one before, what hits me is a big blast of ripened peach. And it's sweet, it's juicy, it's undeniably peach, and it's not candied peach, it's not fake peach, it has an actual authentic kind of peach character to it. A lot of, time, type, uh, a lot of times, I was going to say a lot of types, but a lot of times in IPAs when I do get peach characters from the hops, a lot of times it's candied peach rings, candied peaches in general. This is more of authentic, which is really nice. So that hits me right up front. Right after that, I'm hit with this juicy orange, mixing it in with like a zesty orange. And then middle of the palate is where that bitterness sneaks in. And it's still in the back of my palate. This actually has a pretty decent bitterness. That bitterness carries to the end of the palate. It finishes moderately bitter, semi-dry. So the front half of the palate has that sweetness. And it is balanced out by that bitterness, which is really nice to see. A lot of times these just lean too sweet. And by like half of that can goes down, you're just like, eh, I would like to see a little bit more bitterness. Not with this one. There is an underlying slight vanilla tinge omnipresent in the taste but i wouldn't if i was doing this blind there's no way i would be like this is totally a peaches and cream milkshake ipa i don't think i would like stand and go that 100 there's vanilla or there's some kind of cream aspect to it i don't think i would say that if i was doing it blind but since i'm looking for it i know it's in here sure it's really nice i mean they have pretty much did a great job of what they're going for here um I would like to see the body to be a little bit bigger. That's a personal preference. Maybe a little bit more of a creamy aspect. The fact that you're calling it peaches and cream milkshake IPA, I'd like to see a little bit more of a creamy aspect. But the peach is there, getting a little bit of that cream aspect with a slight vanilla tinge. I like that. I can tell this is an IPA and not just like a fruited uh, you know, beer of some sort because that bitterness on the back of the, end is, back of the palate is really nice. 6.5%. You can't tell it's a big beer. Really nice. Um, nothing like blowing my mind, but... I really dig it. So I'm going to give Nude Peach, which is from the Paperback Room Company. Like I said, never heard about this place. Really cool to get the chance to try a beer from the Los Angeles area. But I'm going to give this a uh, high 4 out of 5. I'm going to go 4.1 out of 5. Really nice. I think to bump it into like the 4.2, 4.3 range for me, I'd like to, the body to be a little bit bigger, a little bit more of a creamy aspect on the palate. And that's really it. I think otherwise, it's a really well-made beer. In this one, the body and mouthfeel hurting it a little bit, but not a lot. So 4.1 out of 5. Price and availability. Here's where Ridge, hopefully you can tell me about it or anybody in the Los Angeles area. Uh, I don't know exactly the price on this one. I'd imagine at the brewery, probably no more than like $20 a four pack. And then the uh, availability. I can't imagine these guys get distribution, you know, too far outside of Los Angeles. But if you've had anything from paperback or you know about their price and availability, throw it in the comments section. Let me know if you had this beer. Definitely let me know what you think about it because, again, it's a pretty good beer. It's a pretty good milkshake IPA. Milkshake IPAs are one of those styles that can either uh, blow me away or totally disappoint me. And I think for the first time, I can really say that I think I'm happy with this one. It doesn't blow me away. I'm not disappointed. I'm happy with it. 4.1 out of 5 all day long. So once again, huge shout out to Ridge for hooking me up with this one. Uh, go over to his channel, say hi to him, uh, sub. Uh, you know, like I said early on, uh, chaotic is the word I would describe his reviews uh, if there was one word. Uh, but they're fun. He usually includes friends, family, and the whole nine. And uh, he loves hazy IPAs. So if you love hazy IPAs of any kind, go over there and check them out. So once again, thanks to Ridge. Thanks to everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. To the next one. Cheers.